Good day everyone and welcome you to this video. Today's subject is the biblical pass over for 2021 is 26 April and the biblical feast day of Trump feast of trumpets for 2021 is October 6 to the 8. That's correct. It is not as the lead gives it to you like 27th of March. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not the date. Neither is 6th of September, Feast of Trumpets. That is to mislead the believers in Christ and also to discourage them. And that is true. Yeah. Many people are looking for, for the rapture, but may I ask the question, the, uh, can the rapture happen anytime? No, the rapture cannot happen anytime. The rapture will happen at God's appointed time. You know what? The stalk knows her appointed day. Even the birds that is migrating, that is what Yeshua is saying. But Yeshua said, my people doesn't know. All that uh, his people are saying, no man knows the day and hour. When you're talking, you will mention a day. Yes. Oh. Yes, and that is true. God's people doesn't know the, the, his feast days. That is his appointed days. That is his appointed times. Yeah, I know people getting angry with me, but don't get angry with me. If you really, really want the rapture, study the feast days, observe his feast days. And I tell you, that would make Jesus' heart so happy. He will be so blessed if you do that. We're going to marry a Jew, people. Jesus is a Jew. Yeah, yeah, bless you people, I love you, don't uh, unsubscribe, subscribe to this channel. So that is now, that is a public, now let me show you the truth, let me just show you here um, on this, the vernal equinox or the, at, uh, at uh, Jerusalem, and the autumnal equinox at Jerusalem for 2021. March is the equinox, 20 March. March the 20th is when the equinox, that is when spring really starts. So you cannot declare, declare a Passover until the first new moon. The first new moon have to be on the 20th, yes, of March or just after the 20th. It cannot be part into, into the winter, yeah, it cannot be part into winter and be part into spring. It doesn't work like that. And that is the same for uh, the uh, uh, Feast of Trumpets and that, of course, for, for 2021 is 22nd of September. If you get the date right here at Passover, you will have no problem with a Feast of Trumpets. And that is a fact. Because once you establish the date, once you establish the date, then you count seven, seven months from, from that day. But of course, the first new new moon is only in April, April, and then you would count uh, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. October is the correct uh, uh, date for Feast of Trumpets. Okay, so let's go to the notes. The Passover is found in the words of King David and in Psalm 104, 19. Look what it says. He appointed the moon for seasons, right? 
He appointed the moon for seasons. So it is the moon that tell you, the new moon that tell you when is a season. People, so many people, you all in error. The full moon is not the new moon. Okay? The Bible says the new moon, that is of course a dark moon. From the point from the dark moon, the first day of the uh, of the near the slither of the moon is the new moon. The full moon is not the new moon. Okay? The sun knoweth is going down. This verse contains a variable sta sta statement on the moon vice versa the seasons but only the first visible crescent starting the summer season is after the vernal equinox i showed you the vernal equinox just in a moment so if the first month straddles the vernal, uh, vernal equinox as happened in the present day uh, uh, jewish calendar it would be part in and part out of the summer season as it could not mark the start of the summer season so you see it uh, it would not be part it would not be part in and part out of the summer season that could not mark the start of the season at all the conclusion the conclusion then is that the start of the year must be with a visible crescent you see what i say the visible slither of the moon, the visible crescent after the vernal equinox. The Hebrew word for translated moon, yeah, for the word translated moon is, uh, Psalm 104 is Yerayak, Yerayak, deriving from Yerak, meaning the lunation. This contains the idea of complete lunation or month marking out the beginning of the year and not a part month in winter season and part month in the summer. And that is exactly what I was saying to you in the beginning. Now Josephus states, states uh, that Passover occurs in the 14th day of the lunar month when the sun is in Aries. For it was in Aries that the children of Israel left Egypt on the 15th of Abib under the full moon. And I'm going to show you that in the Stellarium in a moment. The Encyclopedia Ameri Americana under the heading Aries states the vernal equinox is still called the first, the first of Aries. Hmm. Now if the vernal equinox was uh, the beginning of uh, of Aries and taking this with Josephus information then in the absence of any more convincing evidence the matter is open as to whether the first visible crescent of the month in which Passover falls was before or after the Vernic equinox and therefore the conclusion is therefore is that the start of the year must be with a visible crescent after or just on the vernal equinox. I hope you understand what I'm trying to convey. Now I'm going to show you quickly the moon cycles here. And this one happened to be in April. You see, the, uh, the new moon happened to be on the 11th of March. That was 11th of March. Let's go back to 11th of March and find uh, the moon phases for March. March. Okay, I have to put the... the uh, what's his name on here? Because I'm not having the... What's his name on here? The internet on here. So let's look at the moon phase giant for yeah okay yeah the moon phase um, yeah yeah so here's the credit is March March is the in it's not the correct date so the new moon is on the 13th of March so the new moon here when is the equinox? I want to show you where the equinox. You've seen the, where the end equinox is. 
it is on the 20th, 20th and it happened. So now it cannot be part in winter and then be part into, uh, uh, into spring. It does not work that according to the Bible. And that is what the word says. The word specifically says, and as, uh, well, uh, Genesis 1 verse 14, the moon, the sun, the moon is for seasons, the sun is for, uh, determined the day, the moon also determined the, 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 the night, and it's for seasons, it's for signs and times. And that is exactly what Psalm 104 tells us. So we have to go according to the word. And the word is that, the, that what gives you the direction. Okay, so we cannot have the year is the new moon. The new moon year is on the 13th. And it cannot happen before the 20th. It had to, the new moon had to be declared after the 20th, on or after the 20th. So let's go back to, to um, the April uh, uh, moon phases. Let's, let's go back to that one there. Yeah. So now we establish here now, 13, the 12th is the new moon. The 12th, so now you have to count it from the 12th. So when will you count? 14 days from, pa uh, from there to, to, to pass us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So here on the 26th begins pass over the evening. The evening year begins pass over the, the, the evening of 1800 and year right year is on the full moon, you know. So that of course year, then this is the seventh day. This is also the seventh people. The seventh will then be, of course, the full moon, the first quarter, then uh, uh, the, 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 the first day of the new moon, and the last quarter. These are your uh, Sabbaths. Saturday is not a Sabbath. Please, I see many people counting that, counting all the Sabbath. The Sabbath is not the on a Saturday, neither is Sunday the first day of the week. That is not according to the Gregorian calendar. Yes, they lie to us. You, we, it's a calendar is not off. The, the calendar is never off. The Gregorian calendar is off. But God's calendar is never off. If you follow the moon, you will have the Sabbath days. The last, the new moon, the first and the full moon, these are your seven days, people. Okay? I hope you see, uh, see my point. And then here you also hear you have October. Uh, and then October, this will be your, your, your first new moon. This is the seven. The seven then will be the first day, the first of, uh, of, the, of the seventh month. As God says in uh, Leviticus, uh, 23 verse 24 the first day of the seventh month and then the seventh then uh, on the day of the seventh then will be the first day of the uh, seventh of October will be the seven uh, the first day of uh, Feast of Trumpets I hope that is clear to you people now I'm going to demonstrate to you in the Stellarium you mentioned Josephus said that on the Exodus, and this is a date of the Exodus, it was 1446 uh, BC before Christ, and the, on that day happened to be the Exodus on the 4th of April, that happened to be Passover. And when we read the statement, a sta statement of Josephus, they left uh, Egypt on the day of Passover and the sun happened to be where? In Aries. So you see the sun set first here and then of course the rest of the star come behind and then you see that is Aries. 
and of course they didn't have light with the sunset you can exactly see the stars there so the sun happened to be there just right if you go in there you see it's still in Aries right at the feet of Aries here begins uh, um, Taurus of course you know this is just part of it so when the sun reads this part here and that would be Aries uh, 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 Taurus so the sun is still in Aries so that is correct according to uh, according to the word the, and uh, and what Josephus also observed and what according to uh, what uh, David uh, said uh, in, in Psalm 104 and that confirms Genesis 1 verse 14 I hope I made myself clear there now let's go and uh, look at and you can find even on the birth of Christ the sun just happened to be passed uh, uh, okay. uh, Jesus died on the cross uh, 31 AD 31 AD Jesus died on the cross that was 31 AD 31 AD and that and you see the sun was already in parts over us in Aries but the, uh, then of course it happened to be in the 25th 25th so it's just more or less it had to be in uh, 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 close to, uh, to Aries and that's why I know, uh, know that sun was Aries actually but the sun is approaching uh, Taurus there at the moment so when the sun set they will see Aries then at the moment that's where Aries was that was the day of Jesus' crucifixion and if you count 14 days 14 days from there then you'll find the new moon so let's count 14 days backwards 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 13, 14. So that, that was near the, the dark moon. So there you find uh, that was the new moon. The beginning of the new moon was this and the sun was still in Aries. And that is the requirement. That is the requirement. So that will be the first, first day of the, uh, first day of the new moon, uh, the first day of the new moon. That will, that will be the new moon and then you count 14 days from the new moon and that of course will be Passover. And if you count for, for, uh, uh, 14 days before it, let's count it again. Okay, let's count it from that day. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's the 14 day. So there is the sun of course close to what is still in, uh, uh, in Iris, just approaching Taurus. But now where is the moon? If you put it, where is the moon? The moon, of course, is right here, just leaving uh, um, Libra. That is where just uh, uh, leaving Libra, that is where, then that's a full moon. That is the day when Jesus died on a cross. So uh, let's go to the 2021 th year. It's 2021, yeah. So yes, the sun, where is the sun here? The sun here is right in, that's, with, that's the 27th or the 3rd. The sun is in, in Pisces. It is way far, far off from, uh, uh, from Aries. i sorry, I had the wrong date there, people. Yeah, so that's where the sun is. That cannot be passed over. The sun has to be in Aries. Uh, that is the requirement. It's impossible for that to be passed over. You see, already seen that part of the moon is in uh, in winter, and the other part is in uh, in uh, uh, given as a Passover. So that cannot be. It has to be after the equinox. I hope I made myself clear. To now, we come to uh, to. Uh, to April, yes, April, and that happened to be 26. There you see, where is the sun? Sun is right in Aries, and then we have Mercury and Venus there as a support as well, and you get Uranus as one of the witnesses there as well. Yeah, so let me just put this uh, internet off here, otherwise, keep on disturbing us. 
Yeah. So uh, right across, this is the real pass uh, pass over. The sun have to be in um, in Aries, and this is the legend pass over for 2021. As I say, many people look for the for the uh, for the rapture, and we have to get the dates uh, uh, dates correct. And I stress. Uh, I strongly feel this is the year 2021. It have to be. The, we cannot go beyond uh, uh, the 80 years. Uh, Jesus said that generation shall not pass away until all these things will come to pass. And that of course is 2028. Uh, that the, the, the um, uh, 80 years will expire. And it cannot go beyond that. So the tribulation had to start this year, and uh, we're expecting the rapture as well. So well, let's look at October, then October the 10th, that will be, um, uh, there's the 7th, uh, this, yeah, the 7th, right, let's go there. October the 7th, so that October the 7th then is Let's go to make it smaller, find, uh, so yes, that's right, that's it. So October the 7th, that will give us, and that's where the moon is at present. The sun is in, where is the sun? The sun is in Virgo. So now the lead, they giving then the uh, 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 Feast of Trumpets, oh, that is of course on the 6th. Look where the sun is. The sun is in Leo. That cannot be, people. It's not possible. Even with 23rd, 23rd of um, September, with, a, uh, with this great sign, the sun was, of course, right here on the shoulder of, of Virgo. She was clothed with the sun. Virgo is not clothed with the sun. The, the, Virgo has to be clothed with the sun to declare a uh, a feast of trumpets and that is what the word uh, states there the sun you find the sun is in and then but they declare they declare a, a feast of trumpets it cannot be so people uh, September the 6th people is not the correct date and I'll show you now in the calculator if we calculate the 1260 days of the two witnesses the two witnesses start their mission yes their mission on the day just after the rapture and that will be 1260 days the 144,000 uh, 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 Israelites, also the, for the 12 tribes each, uh, they, uh, tw I mean 12,000 of each uh, tribe, uh, that's 144,000, they also commence their uh, duty the next day after the rapture. So if you calculate that uh, uh, 1,260 days of the two witnesses, and then also the 1,200 and 90 days uh, of the abomination from the time of the abomination remember they die just right at the abomination if you add that 1290 days of Daniel it comes 2150 days and if you calculate that it comes to Saturday uh, September the 30th 2028 yes and that will be Feast of Atonement, the day that Jesus will return. Jesus uh, commenced his ministry uh, on his first coming, also on Feast of Atonement. Yes, and he will return on Feast of Atonement yeah, uh, to, um, to uh, establish then the Jubilee. The, the, the final 120, uh, 120th Jubilee. And that will be on Feast of Atonement. You can read uh, Leviticus 25 for that matter. I have to bring this in here to show you that. 
and that will be the second coming of Jesus. It's all in the Bible, people. It's not my calculations. It is, it is that of Daniel. Jesus' first coming was on 80th Jubilee, and you can establish then also the second coming, and that will be 2028. And this apply, uh, con this, con this day confirms the word itself. So there you have it. So that is the correct, correct day. And if you want verification of that, that is uh, Feast of Atonement is from Friday the evening, uh, 29th of September 2028. That is 2028 uh, to Saturday. And that is Feast of Atonement 2028. So that is Saturday 30th of September. So there you have it, people. So um, there's no argument about that. So this is what I want to show to you. The correct application, and this should be, this, of course, that will be, uh, uh, that, of course, is uh, uh, on the 7th, 7th, uh, 7th, the 5th, the 7th. That, of course, will be, and then you coming closer to uh, the moon here and that will be around because this is quite a moon here so you already see the illumination of the moon here is at least one percent almost going to two percent of the moon here is already the slither of the moon so on the seventh i believe that is the uh the time frame for the um, uh, Feast of Trumpets, and that would also be the rapture and the start of the tribulation. So that's all I have to say to you people. Please do subscribe. I love you all. I'm praying for you. And uh, I want to say thank you to, to those few that uh, support this ministry and be blessed. Love you all.